data representation. So far, we've been talking about data as something that's just swimming about, being poked into logical sequences and told to form orderly patterns and generally shape up. Without identifying the different characteristics of data, it's like looking at a sea of insects as a heaving mass of movement, rather than identifying each insect by its species or its purpose. Firstly, let's separate data into two groups, analog and digital. Analog data is readable in real time, and we read its information as a continuous process. We live our lives in analog, and we receive a continual stream of data via all our senses. Digital data, in contrast, are made up of separate elements that in their most basic forms are the two numbers 0 and 1, and the building blocks of binary language. Now that we're paddling in the gene pool of digital data, let's look at the single cell to Do you like what you see? Click the link at the bottom of this video to find out more about revision.